Tag, you're it. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tag Tuesday. We are doing a Christmas tag, and we found this tag on Zoella's YouTube channel, and we will leave a link down below. There are ten questions to this tag, and I bet you would never guess they're all about... Halloween? Christmas! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why we're wearing the goofy outfits, I guess. Hey, Christmas isn't goofy. When do you... The outfits are goofy. I don't think my shirt is goofy. It says Jingle Bells. Okay. When do you start getting excited about Christmas? Well, when I was a kid, I'd start getting excited around Thanksgiving because that's kind of when it all started. But when I was a kid, there was no such thing as Black Friday. That's kind of a relatively new thing. I never quite understood it. But yeah, as a kid, it was. that's when you start seeing the show start coming out and you know the whatever. decoration being in california the weather didn't change much but yeah and um when i we i'd say as an adult it it wasn't so exciting anymore but when we started doing the channel the youtube channel it started being fun doing all this this stuff again yeah i was always ex i like christmas um halloween obviously is my favorite but I love to decorate, period. And to decorate the house for Christmas is, gets me excited. And uh, usually I do that the day after Thanksgiving. This year I did it a little bit early, I think, because partly I was going stir crazy with my hand. I can't really do much. So, um, but yeah, I I'm, was the same way. I would get excited about Christmas early when I was younger. Um, especially right after Thanksgiving, because that's when we would write our letters to Santa Claus. But do you still have an Advent calendar? We've never. I've never had an Advent calendar. Really? I did when we were young. When I was younger. No, I never even heard of Advent calendars until I saw them on recent movies. Oh, really? Yeah. No, we had an Advent calendar when I was younger, but uh, it's been years. I don't think I've ever done an Advent calendar with Megan, though. Um, what are your favorite Christmas films? <laughs> you go ahead with this one. Go ahead. Okay. Well, normal films, I really, my favorite Christmas movie is White Christmas. I absolutely love White Christmas, so... And then there's other ones that I like, such as the Santa Clauses and um, Jack Frost. Uh, not that, not the horror film Jack Frost. I like the horror film Jack Frost. I mean, I like the horror film Jack Frost, but I love the one with Michael Keaton where he becomes a snowman. I know, I know, I know. It should be a horror film because I mean, if I, I mean, saw my dad, can you imagine come to your life dad coming back as a snowman? That would just flip my core. And so, then knowing he's going to melt at the end of the that's a, That's a horror film. <laughs> but you like that. I thought that was just the plot, just like, ugh. <laughs> so what about you? Oh, let me see. Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, uh, Black. Uh, Black Christmas, both of them. Yeah, I thought were good. Um, uh, uh, Scrooged. Yes. Scrooged, yes, one of my favorites. One. Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. That's good for Halloween and... And Christmas. So, mm -hmm. there you go. Yep. Uh, do you have any funny Christmas memories? No. No? Yeah. I, I, I can't do. can't think of any. I do. I'll, I have several, but I'll tell you one. Um, when I was younger, I wanted one of those race car sets, the electric ones where the cars just went around the track. You press the little handle on the car yep that's what I wanted I wanted one so bad and we used to have one of those big octopus furnaces in our basement so we had all these vents and my dad had taken the octopus furnace out but we had the vents still well Karina Connie and I all slept together in one room on Christmas Eve and we hear my parents downstairs playing with my race car set 
and we're sitting by the vent and I'm watching them. They're like right under the vent to, to the bedroom we're in. And I'm sitting there watching them play with my race car set. And finally I said, can I come down and play? <laughs> So, I went downstairs and played with my race car set on Christmas Eve. Uh, tell, talk us through your trip, typical Christmas day. Now or when Megan was younger? It's always a difference, huh? Yeah. Now it's, Megan's not home, so it's whenever we drag ourselves out of bed. Um... We have Christmas breakfast, which is Rice Krispie treats for Kevin, whatever I feel like having for myself. Uh, we sit around and watch Christmas movies, usually horror movies at that point, because um, I'm watching all my movies now. Um, we, if Megan comes home, we do gifts. If Megan's not home, we wait till she does come home to do gifts. So we never have Christmas on Christmas. Um, but that's okay with us. Um, yeah, I've, when I was a little kid, and I guess you, Christmas, we, you know, made you wait until the next day. And that was always drove you nuts. As we got older, they would let us open one gift on on Christmas Eve. I remember just to get us to go to bed or something. Remember yep. that? Yep. And by the time I was in college or in high school, uh, we were just opening them on Christmas Eve because nobody wanted to get up early yeah. and do the whole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what happened. I remember with that. sometimes we would have to wake Megan up. Yeah. Yeah. So. But, uh, yeah, there's traditions it's continuously change. Yeah. All right. Um, what do you eat for Christmas dinner? We're going to eat almond. <laughs> this year it's going to be ham. Yeah. Just because, uh, you know, we have turkey for Thanksgiving, you want something different for Christmas. And that's, that's it. Yeah, so we're going to have ham. Um... Do you have any Christmas traditions? Do we? Um, I think we're starting some tr Christmas traditions mainly because of our channel, like our hats, you know. So, the hats, um... Uh, every year we try to come up with something goofy to wear. Yeah. But um, yeah. You know, for Christmas and something to annoy people with, like our little dancing Santa hat and, and our uh, gathering gathering here, Christmas gathering. So yeah, that's just just to have something uh, new and different and goofy. Okay, which are your favorite Christmas songs? I saw mommy kissing. Really? Yeah. I like right. that song. And walking in a winter wonderland. It's not really a Christmas song, but... Uh, right, but it's sung mainly it's a, at Christmas. It's a winter song. It's sung mainly There's many songs they play at Christmas time that really aren't Christmas. Like, uh, but let me see. Um... For a long time, we uh, for about three or four years at my company, my band would play at the Christmas party, and we would throw together some Christmas songs. And of course, we have to. We usually um, messed with them a little, and so we played some Chuck Berry stuff, um, "Run Run Rudolph." We played that. And that was always a lot of fun. I changed the words so that it had to do with the bit, with the company. Uh, we did. Um, what was the one that, um, that was the funny one? Um, Grandma got run over by... Oh, God, I wouldn't... Oh, <laughs> that's horrible. No, it's um, um, Father Santa, or, or, and it's, they're, it's a song is a bunch of punks beat up Santa and take all his oh. money, and something like that. It's, it was just a fun tune to play. And um, it it's a, was a British song. I want to say it's The Cure, but I don't know if it was. But that um, I... 
music that I loved to play was like um, uh, Carol the Bells. I loved Carol the Bells. That's a really nice piece. Okay. What is the best Christmas present you ever received? Think of anything? I'm trying. I can't think of anything. Actually, okay, I can think of this. Um, I wanted to take Megan and um, Jessica one year to Disneyland for Christmas when Jessica, my niece, came out to visit me and I couldn't afford it and somebody, one of the patients at the office, the chiropractor's office that I was working at, um, paid for us to go to Disneyland for the entire day. Really, man. Including spending money for food and everything. And that was a very, very nice Christmas gift that they did for us. And uh, it was very special. So. Um, and question number 10. Real or fake Christmas tree? Pretty much all of our lives it's been a real tree. Not all of my life. My parents have fake trees most of the time. So. But... I have always wanted real trees. So, since I've been married to Val, it's been real trees until this year. Because we just didn't want to deal with the... There's just so much to do with the real tree. So we got a nice little fake tree, and it'll probably be our tradition from now on. Yeah, and it's it's easier to clean up, and yeah. um, it was already pre-strung with lights, so we didn't have to deal with that, and it just... yeah. Less of a fire hazard. I think as you get older, you, you know, Megan's not really here anymore, and so she was the one who really loved the, the real tree, having that smell in the house and everything. So we just used the pine sensi smell, so we still have the smell of pine tree. Okay, we tag Shalene TV Shalene. Scott Jenny Active Videos and a Beach Lovin' Aussie and anyone else who wants to do this tag and that includes you Lucy Owl. So tag you're it and we will catch you next week on another episode of Tag Tuesday. Bye! Bye.